name is Lola and Yola Adifesa. I'm in chemical engineering here in Michigan. Most of the teaching I've done have been undergraduate courses, uh, or large classes, 100, 200 students. There are a couple of things that I'd like to highlight. I actually do 100% of my lecture on PowerPoint, and students actually do love it. What I actually do is use tablet uh, and stylus, so I use the PowerPoint as my whiteboard. And so in many cases, my, my PowerPoint slides are bare bones, skeleton diagrams, uh, and I do write on PowerPoint. Uh, and there are tons of advantages to that in the sense that you, you have your lecturer forever. And even during the class, when a student asks a question, I can flip back three, four slides and to the beginning of the lecture and say, no, uh, what we were talking about was this. You have to decide whether you have an open or a closed system. In a closed system, we said that kinetic energy and potential energy is often zero. Because when we're typically not moving the batch from one location to another, and work is zero when. No volume change. I think you guys learned that from this homework. If you have no change in volume, then work has to be zero. So that Q is often equal to delta U for the closed system. For the open system, Q is equal to delta H if no moving parts and kinetic and potential energy is negligible. It's clicker time. Okay, so here's your clicker question. You have a mixture of water and ice. We have the temperature and the pressure. What values are the same for gas, liquid, and solid phase for that system? <coughs> All right, the answer is in that A, B, C range. <laughs> Who wants to defend A? Yes? Is it Michael? Okay. Which answer are you defending? A. You're saying that temperature is going to be the same only, only temperature. Okay, so for a uh, unilateral you know, system, it's a function of temperature and your phase. Okay. Um, so if we have different phases, they're going to have different internal energies. Right. And uh, enthalpy is also a function of internal energy. Right. So we can say that enthalpy is also going to be different for each phase. Okay. Anyone want to defend B? Anyone want to change the answer? The answer is A. OK? <coughs> Internal energy, we said, is a function of aggregation state. Yes? And aggregation state simply means whether you're liquid, solid, or gas. So the fact that we have different phases